Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna introduce you to the GoPro 8. I was using another GoPro before which is a slightly lower resolution and this GoPro 8 is literally a killer. So this is uh, 4K, um, 60p, 33 meter waterproof, 4 megapixel still camera. Uh, which is pretty good when I have to take some photos. I don't have to pull my mobile all the time. This one was my uh, previous recorder. This is a GoPro Session 5 and this has no LCD screen on it. Um, but it was a very nice little guy. You know, he can record up to 1420 resolution and can do a damn good video as well on a nice bright day. Thank you first of all for the support to the channel and we're getting very close to the 100 subscriptions which is awesome and um, please like subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video as well so this will not be a full comprehensive breakdown about the gopro 8 but all i just want to give you just a small uh, introduction what's in the box and how you can use the camera so this will be your first time for me as well to open it because it's unopened yet let's get into it let's do the unboxing so okay so so here we go so that's the oh wow this is just a dummy as you can see there's nothing inside it it's literally a plastic case so let's have a look at this now so this this thing is kind of stuck to this this is a plastic bit and on um, this thing you can just see it's a small rubber knob you can just pull it up and you can just pinch this bit from here and push it so that's the camera got released from that lock so all right guys this is on as you can see it's just asking me the language so i will just select english and then some legal stuff i'll just say agree because who has the time to read and the GPS, I will say turn on. Yeah, why not? Um, install the GoPro app on your phone and finish the setup. Leave your camera and follow the app instructions. Let's try that. So ask me to do connect. So I can connect to the new GoPro 8. Jake, that's taking forever. So ask me to search a new connection. And voila, it's actually found the new uh, Hero 8 Black. So I'll say connect to the camera. Go to pairing. Would you like to pair the phone? I'll say yep. There we go. It's doing some ticks. So I'll just put my name over here and I'll say start. Save a new name. So perfect. Now it's connecting. It's a camera update. Wow. There you go. So there's a new software update apparently which is good because in that way I don't have to worry about later. So let's do the um, software update as well. So we are at 95%, 99% and it's now it's asking for me to update the camera. So I'll say update the camera. It's still trying to connect. And okay, so I'll say update, accept and agree. There's a few script over here. Oh, fair enough. It's asking for a micro SD card, not enough space. Great. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly pinch off the micro SD card from my previous GoPro. And I will just hop that in. Okay. So the card is in there. So now it's transferring files to the camera. And guys, it's almost there. It's now 95, 5, 6, 7 and hopefully it will restart a couple of times because that's what it says on the screen installing updates don't leave the app gopro will go into power on and off a few times so let's see what happens after this right here we go i can see a nice blue massive tick on my phone so i'll press done go right here we go guys so it is apparently updating completed. So it's, yeah, the small message came up on screen. It's back on and I can see my motorcycle in there. Nice. Stop recording. Very easy to press. I mean, even the other one was quite easy, but this one is literally, you can just feel it. 
pressing on and on. Right, I have my preview section on on the phone, so I can actually see what's recording on the actual camera, which is a nice cool option. Here we go. So you can literally see what's going on on the actual camera on the mobile phone, which is quite nice. Now the camera app has quite a few features. You can see over here, the camera, and this is a video turn off the preview now I'll keep it on that's a video oh sorry that was a photos and that was video and then there's a time lapse so quite easy this is the first time ever I'm using these options because the, the other one the five the hero 5 session it didn't have all these options there there's an option over here you can select standard uh, 1080p 60 frames um, I'll try to actually change it to 30 frames and lens it's some wide linear I think there's an option in there you can actually select it you can see as well while you're in the mode so I'll get into that eventually um, there's a slow-mo as well in there cinematic 4k 30 all right guys thanks for liking and subscribing my channel hit the like button share the video and subscribe yeah Bullet the Jack in Sydney.